robertgirldigitalagentshow.com and in this video I'm going to share with you the keys and steps to getting your Georgia real estate license. Now two numbers that you're going to want to remember are 75 and 72. 75 is the number of course hours that you need to take and 72 is the percent, 72 or above, that you need to pass your final exam of the course and the independent state slash national exam. Your first step is signing up for a real estate course. Those 75 hours can be satisfied in an online course or in a classroom course. And I've got a link that I'm going to tag regarding classroom courses. I'm going to give a recommendation for an online course. In the online course, while you're going through the 75 hours, while you're going through the chapters and modules, there'll be a little time ticker that will give you credit for the time that you've spent reading the materials and going through each sections of the course. The course is designed for you to be able to pass a multiple choice test at the end of the class and the independent test. And this is the test that you have to pass at a 72% or higher passing grade. Once you've gotten through the final course exam, then you are able to submit in for your independent testing. With the state no more than 60 days prior than submitting your application, you must also submit in a certified history, a criminal history report that's been issued by the Georgia Crime Information Center, part of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. That is something that if you feel like that there's any issues that you're going to have of qualifying or in that background, reach out to the Georgia Real Estate Commission. They're the only ones that are going to be able to answer whether or not something will be an issue or it won't be. So take that time and reach out to them. Once you've passed that independent state slash national exam, you're then able to associate with a brokerage. And that brokerage is going to hopefully take the time to help you learn how to work with buyers, how to work with sellers, how to cash checks, frankly, uh, so that you can be successful in real estate. And I've got a link down below in the description that'll talk about the best training real estate school, in my opinion, to help you get up and running. Now let's talk about the selection of the course. Within the course itself, with the CE Shop, they offer four different packages. The course only, the standard package, the value package, and the premium. I would recommend that you get at least at a minimum the standard package because the standard package will include your exam prep module. This will get you ready to pass those tests, those multiple choice tests, because that's the purpose of the real estate class is to prepare you for the test. It's not to fully teach you how to sell real estate. Again, that comes with the brokerage. The value package does include a building, business building course and the premium package includes your 25 hours of post licensing course that you're going to have to take within your first 12 months of licensing. So if you're confident that real estate is the career for you, you can jump in and get the premium package. You can sign up for this course, get started today and start counting towards your 75 hours. Now, if you've got more questions or you have more, like more information about what it takes to get up and running and be successful as a real estate agent, visit my website, digitalagentshow.com.